gentlemen and welcome back to another video here is I am Nikki Stinky Flowers aka now going by Nikki Stinky Flowers <laughs> and I'm here in Liberty City and I was told that I just woke up I called uh, the guy that was showing me around and whatnot and he said that he felt bad that my VW truck got stolen so he told me that there's a van downstairs and he told me to hurry up and get it before somebody steals it because he forgot that he left the keys in there like he did with the VW truck so I was like fuck alright so I'm going down there to see this new car he's got oh shit it's a nice van oh fuck let me uh get the keys out alright got the keys oh shit Dude, this thing's nice Oh, he's even got me. Oh, he registered it. it stinky. Oh, nice. This is a nice van, man. But yeah, now that I got the van, he, uh, he also texted me and he said that once I uh, get the keys and whatnot before someone steals it, which I got it, so no one stole it. I got a. He sent me this directions to some type of store. It's called Percy's. He said I gotta dr dress my best out here in Liberty because if you look already in Teddy you're most likely gonna end up like uh, wait what, what's that name Nico Bellic and always getting uh, what is that hassled and trumped up with charges by the mafia or the cartel are the gangs here out in Los Santos and the pigs will not do anything about it they lost too many lives so it's too much for them to handle so they just not this rather deal with real. that oh shit fuck oh all right let's go so I gotta make a U-turn yeah I can't open up my bar today because it's fucking Sunday and apparently fucking the state of fucking New York. I don't know why, but I thought you could, but apparently you can't fucking run a bar on fucking Sundays, man. It's fucking dumb. So I, I guess I can't sell fucking alcohol on Sundays. It's fucking bullshit. That's fine. Alright, so we just gotta keep our heading straight. It looks like. And then it says here on the phone, there's gonna be like a uh, entrance to uh, like a highway. Uh, I think I see the bridge over there. Yeah, he says that I got. Why are you fucking driving, man? Fucking traffic out here is fucking terrible. But fucking yeah, but uh, I just gotta go over to uh, none other than that bridge. It says, and then. Uh, and I gotta take like a f few turns and wait and that and then I'll be at Percy's. Yeah, I've never been out here so I don't know any of these street names. It's just... He basically gave me like... I don't know why he did it but he only gave me like the addresses of houses and what not. So like I gotta drive and, and uh, I mean so far I can see all the addresses. They're visible. But it's like fuck. So you could just gave me like uh, the directions. I could have put it in the phone, man. But he gave me this like stupid text messages, and it said, "Go to blah 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 address, and then follow that until you get to the blah blah blah." But he didn't tell me the building, cities, or anything, man. And he said that he couldn't take me because he's busy today. And he said that something about the cartels that they're met their, uh, what he did in the mafia and like some of the gangs because well, obviously he shot them and fucking got my money back so they're fucking looking for him the fuck okay I think the bridge is like right over here man It says I gotta make a lab. Yeah, there's the gas station. So yeah, that's the address of the gas station. All right. Yeah, and I think I make a left right here. Yep. Yep. 
Oh wait, no. Maybe I don't make a left here. Ah, fuck. No, I read it wrong. Hopefully, if I make a right, it takes me up. I've never been out here, man. The fuck. Fucking nice neighborhood. Okay, so I need to make a rank, it looks like. I need to get to that road up there. Oh shit. What the fuck? Is there anyone in there? What the hell? Man, they don't know how to fucking park. Fuck up, man. It showed green for me. You're just upset because I fucking went through a red. Allegedly. No oh, fucking know my way around this guy. If I get pulled over by someone, I'll just say I didn't know what the fuck I, what, what's going on, man. Fuck. Fucking all these red lights and traffic, man. It's fucking terrible out here. Shit, fuck. But yeah, okay, I made it. Oh, shit. Fuck another red light. The fuck? Oh, it's green now. Fuck. Just go, man. Alright, yeah. Alright, there's the address of. Oh, shit, there's a. There's a place over here. Wait, what? Oh, shit. I'm gonna go check this out. I think I found me a laundromat. Oh shit, hey, what's going on, man? What is this place? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what, you know what this place is? Oh, you guys are just on break? What is this supposed to be? Oh, you guys are on break, you're renovating? And you're doing plans to build a laundromat? Oh. You guys need to fucking get out for fucking lazy asses to fucking get it done. Rise all my Damn. Jesus, go. Just fucking go, man. Come on. The f Let me get my fucking car. The fuck? Oh. They need to get their fucking asses done with their fucking job because... I'm gonna need to do laundry eventually, and I don't gotta wash and dry it at my place, so I need a laundry man. They need to fucking get out the lazy asses and fucking get to work. Fucking did. People out here are fucking ignorant. Fucking New Yorkers, man. The fuck? Oh shit, look at all that fucking black smoke going out. Not the smoke I like. Alright, he says I gotta get off right here. Good, I didn't have enough money for that tow road anyway, so I would have had to just go straight through it. And I don't got one of those, uh, you know, back in Indiana, they called them like the, well, I, my, 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 my old pops back in the day had an eye bash. Oh, shit. Maybe I went the wrong way. Oh shit, fuck. I went the wrong way, man. I think I gotta turn around. Oh shit. You fucking idiot! What's that? What, what the fuck? Oh shit, I can't even go back this way? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna do that. I thought this was a two-way street. My bad, guys. I've never been out here before. Fuck. Yeah, it looks like I gotta go this way. I've never been out here before, man. I thought this was a two-way. I, I don't see no one-way signs. To... Shit. Fuck. My eyes are deceiving me right now. I need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, shit. I need to pave this road. It's terrible. It's fucking terrible this road is. Fuck. Come on guys, just fucking speed it up. You guys are going fucking slow. It's 
fucking traffic. That was terrible. Jesus. Yeah, alright. I'm going around that. I don't know why that gate opened it. They didn't fucking close it. Fucking dummies. Right. I guess I gotta hop on the highway this way. Fuck. Hey, guess what? Making a U-turn there. Fuck off, guys. You gonna call the cops? Let me go ahead and fucking call the cops. You didn't even get my plate. I fucking took off. I heard those fucking tow guys you fucking yelling. Hey, I gotta go this way. I don't gotta go fucking... The other way where the tow fucking road was. In fact. You fucking getting over or not? You motherfucker. Man, I had to fucking drive, man. The fuck? Yeah, shit. I had the fucking right away, man. I had no fucking light there, you fucking asshole. Okay, I think I need to make like a left up here, I believe. Jesus, these people need to learn how to fucking drive, man. Oh shit, is that a fucking club? I might have to check that out one of these days. I think there's a clothing store. It's gotta be around here. Ah, I'm gonna get fucking lost. Oh wait, is that it? Per, per, yeah, I believe that's it. Oh shit. I'm gonna park it, I'll park it right here. Back it out. Whoops. Oops. The fuck off, guys. I gotta go fucking park up over here. Hold on, man. Fucking ass off. Jesus. Alright, I gotta go inside here. And get some clothes, dress my best. He gave me his credit card. Information. Well, he's got it like uh, one of those, you know, uh, fucking like money on his account or whatever. So yeah. Hey, what, what's going on, man? Yeah, I'm looking to buy me like a new seat, whatnot, on the bar, whatnot. Yeah, I'm looking in the right direction. All right. Uh, you're gonna come over and tailor to my size. All right. Oh shit. Yeah, this fucking fits fucking perfect. Yeah, you're gonna put it on... You got his account and he told you I was gonna... Oh, shit. It's free? Yeah, okay. Well, shit. Alright. Uh, have a good one. Yeah, shit. I fucking... This looks fucking nice on me. Yeah, shit. Fuck. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. We got some fucking new threads. Fucking. Other than that. I mean, I don't want to get fucking lost, so. I think I'm just gonna follow the directions back and head home. But he'll have to show me around one of these days. And why not? Because I'm not going back to fucking. California, man. I'm not going. Uh, fuck Dicky. If he wants credit, he can fucking have credit. Don't want to fucking deal with that fucking nonsense. Don't want to deal with that fucking bullshit. 
uh, this fucking idiotic fucking nonsense between hearing the bullshit from her and then her telling me shit but then he's telling me otherwise and I'm like well that's not what she's fucking telling me man so she's fucking lying to your fucking ass and then I'm just I'm just tired of it damn you fucking want to race I'm not fucking racing they getting a ticket dude fucking spin those tires again I hope you get pulled over but no fucking she's, she's a fucking felon well she says that he's a fucking felon he's twice his age and he's a fucking hippie stoner and she doesn't like dating people twice her. it's just all fucking nonsense and bullshit man so I'm just fucking tired of it that's why I fucking just sold my bar and now I'm out here and I got a new bar I don't gotta deal with that fucking nonsense it's fucking just stupid man I can care less about him and Creddy and fucking like in a cop. You like a cop? I'm just tired of the. Why, why does she gotta throw me in there and say, well, I wanna go out with Dickie and. Well, you need to get him back to town and. I mean, nah, fuck that bullshit. You fucking talk to him. But. It is what it is. I just. Got a better life. Met a new friend out here. He's gonna show me around and help me out. He's gonna give me protection and whatnot. He said one of these days we can go bowling and I was like, that's pretty fucking cool. And there's a carnival in town. The fuck guys? Jesus. It's fucking New York drivers, man, they're not a fucking drive. Oh shit. Get back up to this tow road. Let me see if there's any change in this fucking, uh... Oh yeah, shit, yeah, there's change here. There should be enough. Oh shit, wait, there's a note in the fucking... There's enough change to go on the other side. Oh shit, but I didn't do that, I fucked up, so... Okay, I pay the money. Alright, there you go. Have a good one. Just threw the money in the thing. Bada boom, bada bing. Now we just gotta head back home, man. It's a pretty big city, man. It's pretty nice. It's really nice out here. But drivers are fucking terrible. Fucking the language on them are fucking terrible. I live in a bad neighborhood, but I mean, hey. I've been through worse. I've definitely been through worse. Shit, the fucking traffic's fucking terrible. Jesus, you motherfucker. No, you, you cut me off. Fuck off. I guess I gotta learn how to be an aggressive driver. That's what these New York fucking drivers are. They're fucking aggressive, man. Shit. Fuck. This is a nice van. I wouldn't mind driving this back. I mean, if I was to go back to California, which I'm not. But if I was to go back, I would love to drive this back to California. See if I even make it back to California. This is a nice van. I'd use this van for my, uh, for my bar, you know. I could deliver more stuff than the VW fucking truck. Don't get me wrong. I love that VW truck, but... It doesn't got a home in the back. It's really not that big, so I got to do multiple trucks and have people in different vehicles when we all could just drive in this vehicle and load it all in this vehicle instead of multiple VW trucks and whatnot. But, eh. Even if I couldn't get this vehicle back, it is what it is. If I got to sell it and go back to California in the future for some reason, which hopefully I never have to go back. Eh. I would just probably have to sell it, and that's fine. It'd be a hassle to get it shipped. It was a hassle to get those fucking bugs shipped, too. And the buses, and those trucks. But I sold all three of them, so... And Dickie was surprised. She said, wait, what? Yeah? I'm just... I'm just fucking done. It's fucking bullshit and nonsense, you know?
definitely bullshit in that sense. Because he, he brags about the things that he tells her and he wants to find love and it's understandable. He wants to find fucking love. Fuck off, guys. But he fucking wants to find love and that's understandable, man. Who, who, who wouldn't want to find love in life? Like, I, I did it once, but then, well, they, we're not going to discuss that. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I, I found love once, and it, it ended up badly. And I told them it's going to do the same thing for him. And then she split us apart, because she tells me negative shit about him. But then yet she wants him other days, and it's... It's kind of like back and forth. Sometimes it's negative, and then she's like, "Oh, what well, I miss him getting back to town," and, I, and then I get him back to town, and it's just she's pussyfooting around and saying that she likes him, saying she wants to do that, but then saying that, "Oh, well, then you got to do this, and then I do that, and then he does that, and then nothing happens." Fucking all oh, fucking bullshit, man. Just tired of it. So, as I said, if he wants Kareti, motherfucker can have Kareti. She's a fucking pig, just like all the other fucking pigs in this world. And it doesn't matter where I go. I could be out here in New York, get pulled over right now, and you know what I'm gonna be like, ah, fucking pig, ah, fucking this, and I trump me up a charge, and as soon as he comes up, he says, you know, I pulled you over today, because I know they got that stupid fucking New York accent that I was told I need to start learning. That fucking, I'm, I'm just like, nah, why you fuck, why you hassling me? Why you trump me up a charge, man? I didn't do anything. And then he'll be like, oh, you didn't do anything, huh? I'll be like, no, I didn't do anything, you know? It's like the fact that you're just trying to trump me up to charges, man. Then he'll probably give me a ticket for not having a good New York accent. Then he'll fucking give me a ticket for this car fucking for some bullshit reason and say I did this or did that. Fucking nonsense, man. It's fucking bullshit. So, I don't care where I go. Oh, capture pigs. She's a big. Whether he wants to call her one or not, because apparently, from what I was told, that's rude and he's trying to better himself. And that's not the dicky I know, man. So, I'm just starting over. Now I don't deal with that fucking nonsense. I don't deal with that drama. And. I got a new place, a new bar, I live in a new state, and I met a new friend, and he's gonna show me around, and I might meet someone out here, like, more people, you know, and it's gonna be nice. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna go back to my house, and this is where I'm gonna call it, ladies and gentlemen. So, I hope you, uh, have a good one, as Nikki Stinky Flowers is going in to... Uh, the house and yeah it's a little uh fucked up but hey it is what it is so i'm gonna turn the tv back on watch tv Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna end it right here nikki stinky flowers not mickey sticky flowers because <laughs> i had to change my name and everything but yeah so uh yeah i went and got some new threads i got a new car since my vw truck got stolen and yeah, so, a nice van, and nice threads, and now I'm back home. And, and another video, which will continue on with this series with Mickey, as he is now Nicky, and he's got a bar out here called Nicky's Groovy Hangout, which is similar to what he had in California. But yeah, so, he'll show me around, that'll be in another episode. We'll probably do a few more episodes of me running the bar or something. Maybe in the future, see if we can get like a few of our other buddies to join just, you know, to get a, give the RP out. Even though there's not really emotes in here, shit that you could do like you can in our server. But it's cool because we are in a GTA 4 map on GTA 5 and 5M with all the NV looking at everything that looks completely different. Even though it's not the GTA 4 engine and it would be sick if they did remaster GTA 4 but the only thing I would do differently implement GTA 5 online to GTA 4 so that way not only do we get GTA 4 
and then you could put the original online for the people that want to play the original online fun games and series that used to be in there which there's a lot I love myself but implement it to where you could have 32 players in a lobby and just mess around like GTA and you know what screw it why not give all the cars that you could import from GTA 5 into 4 you know and make them DLCs that way people could buy them I mean, that's a way to make money, Rockstar. <laughs> but, yeah. Other than that, that'd be cool. But, yeah. It's 5M, and we're in GTA 4 map. So, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff, like the bed and stuff, that doesn't look legit. As, as I say, when I'm in this house, and, and I said it's not, like, fully furnished and done and whatnot. In the last episode, and I said I got an air mattress tape down. That's just the RP I got to do. It doesn't look legit, but it works. We're in the GTA 4 map. There's a lot of buildings, like the laundromat. Didn't look legit, but hey, I RP that they're still working. I was like, eh, okay, they're working. So there's going to be buildings we walk into that ain't legit, and maybe it doesn't work. But hey, it's the GTA 5 game on 5M, but loading up with a GTA 4 modded map replacing the GTA 5 map amazing cool and sick so I learned that ladies and gentlemen don't forget to like comment share subscribe and follow up to see what's going to be happening with Nikki stinky flowers later Fireflies in the sky.